Hello, I'm Anam Ahmed. Welcome to Northwest Today. The headlines this Friday lunchtime. An investigation's been launched after the bodies of what's thought to be two rough sleepers were found after a fire in Manchester's Chinatown. Dirty tricks. The government is accused of deliberately delaying a report on fracking ahead of a decision on two Lancashire sites. And volunteers, both human and equine, help police patrol the countryside under a new scheme to keep rural Lancashire safe. A report clearing police officers of any serious wrongdoing following the death of a Manchester man shortly after being tasered has been overturned by the High Court. In the first case of its kind, two judges quashed the Independent Police Complaints Commission report on Jordan Begley at the request of the IPCC itself. The 23-year-old from Gorton died in July 2013, two hours after being shot at his home with a 50,000-volt stun gun. Armed officers believed he had a knife. Cheshire Police investigating claims of sexual assault in football say they've received allegations against more than one person. Three more former footballers have come forward to say they were abused as young players. The Conservative candidate to become Metro Mayor of Greater Manchester says he would champion the area on the world stage if he gets the job. Trafford Council leader Sean Ornstey was chosen last night to stand in the election next May. I wouldn't do this uh, position if I didn't think I have a chance of winning and I really want to be able to say that we can together be stronger uh, together with each other, that we can have a successful Greater Manchester, all parts of the city need to be able to benefit from that and we can use this opportunity to say that we can take our city to new heights. Now the weather with Charlie Sluzer.